Hey guys, what's going on? Ed here, and today I'm doing a Christmas haul video. And every year I do a video on kind of like everything I got for Christmas, and it seems to be kind of like a popular thing for people to do. Um, and I like to do one every year, so I thought I'd do one this year. Uh, since this year I actually got a bunch of kits. Last year I got this wonderful camera that I'm filming with right now, so I didn't really bother doing a video. Um, and I got one kit, which is, oh, it's not behind me anymore. It's, uh, it's up there. It's the Mega Scale Age Gundam. Um, but, um, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, this year I got a bunch of really cool stuff, so I thought I'd go over it. Um, yeah, so, um, I guess I'll just jump right into it. First off, I'm gonna go over what my girlfriend got me. Um, she originally got me, uh, a bunch of kits, and she gave them, she gave two of them to me for our anniversary, which was the Double X Gundam and the Wing Gundam. And then she saved the third one for Christmas, and that is the High Grade x Mal. I've been really in build fighters, and the x Mal is my favorite suit, uh, from the series, and the x Mal or the x Gundam is one of my favorite Gundams. So, uh, I'm really happy to have this because the x Mal is just a really cool, really awesome redesign. Um, and Build Fighters is just awesome in general. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, so she got me those three kits. I'm kind of counting those three kits as Christmas gifts. And she also got me, I'm not going to bother taking them off the shelf, but you can sort of see them. Uh, the Origin Volumes 1 through, uh, no, not 1 through 4. 2 through 4. Yeah, 2, 3, and 4 because I had Volume 1. And, uh, you can sort of see, uh up there with my uh, GFF Gundam Fix Figuration, uh, the Origin, so, you know, I'm a huge, huge Origin fan, so excited that it's getting animated, I don't know if I'm in focus, but I will, um, so yeah, so, getting on to uh, other stuff, uh, my mom basically, every year she lets me pick out a bunch of models, and that's like what we do for Christmas, I just get a bunch of kits, and uh, this year, my hobby wave order came in late and every year she's like no it's kind of tradition that you kind of sit and snap build a kit on christmas so she put in an amazon order and got me a kit like with prime shipping so it came like in two days because all my hobby wave stuff was coming after christmas so she's like i really want you to have one on christmas so that kit ended up being the high grade delta gundam which is awesome because it's really really pretty and shiny and uh i am building it currently i'm using these which are non-powdered gloves uh, just so I don't get any oil and shit on my hands or on the uh, kit I have the top of it done over there the entire thing is under gated so like all the nubs are underneath which is really really cool um, so I don't have to worry about you know terrible hideous nub marks on that like really awesome like reflective plastic um, next up is my hobby wave order this is all the stuff I got from hobby wave um, so is the high grade ass hammer I call it the S hammer. The uh that there we go. The S hammer, whatever you want to call it. Let me get this focus here. Yeah, the S hammer. Really excited to do this one. Um I saw one that was done in like a uh Air Force colors, which is really cool. But I've been I've been debating on getting this kit for like a long time. I have its older or younger brother, the Aksha. Um but I really wanted this one. I really like this one more than the Anksha, I think. And uh, it looks like a lot of fun to kit, or a lot of fun to kit. A lot of fun to paint and build and, you know, do stuff with. Um, let's see. There, everything I got is all Universal Century except for one thing. Next up is the Zagak E, the Zagak Experiment Type from 0080. Um, I love the Zagak. I've learned to love the Zagak even more over the past year. And the Zagak E is really cool because it's the experimental type and it looks a lot better, in my opinion. I just think it's awesome. So, got that. Hopefully I'll be uh, doing that up in like kind of a sort of semi battle scar theme. Uh, slight weathering. Next up, I'm really excited about this one. This is the uh, TR5 uh, Gaplon Hairu. Or Hairu is... Uh, oh, Nixon would say. But, uh, yeah, uh, this kit is never in stock whenever I want to buy stuff, so really glad that they actually had this in stock. Hobby Wave had this. I got all this stuff from Hobby Wave. Um, and for, let's see, it is a 2,400 yen kit, and it sells for $26, $27, which is not bad at all. It's, like, pretty much box price. Um, really, really excited about that. It's, like, the box is as thick as a Master Grade. It's fully transformable. comes with a stand. 
and it's the biggest uh, of the Hazel kits that's available right now. There's one more that I need to get, and that is the Hazel 2, um, and then I'll have all four units, and then I'm going to paint all four of them together so they have, like, matching color schemes, so, like, the same shades of white, same shades of, you know, dark blue and whatever. And I also have the decals for units, uh, for all of the Hazel units that are available on high grade, so I don't have to use these stickers. I actually have water slide decals that I bought years ago, and I'm so glad I have them. Uh, next up... I know my friend Ashley would love this, but she already has it. This is the high-grade Gelgoog Marine SEMA Custom. Uh, again, from 00... or not again, but from 0083, start his memory. Um, SEMA, SEMA's Custom Gelgoog Unit. Um, I love this model, not just for the fact that it's uh, from one of my favorite series. Its design and weapons and its fucking backpack is... going to fly out of my hands awesome if you haven't seen it go check it out like on google or something obviously um really really cool because the backpack actually has like these it has two like what are they two big like propellant tanks coming out of the top and then like two long bar things at the bottom the shield is awesome the gun is amazing it reminds me of uh one of the i don't know jagged doga's guns i think that's what it's called i don't know but really awesome kit 1500 yen Really, really happy to have that. Uh, I've never built a Gelgoog before, but again, I'm sort of getting into like more actual like Xeon suits and like non Gundam suits, I guess I should say. I only got, out of everything I got for Christmas, I think I got, let's see, one, two, three, four Gundams, and the rest are non Gundams. Um, next is the GM Sniper 2 from 0080. Uh, another 0080 kit. Really excited to do this one. Very thin box. Very, uh, very basic kit. But it's so cool because it comes with that little... I don't remember its name, but it's these things. These little mini walker things. And I love doing minis. I love doing, uh, miniature, like, scale, you know, stuff to go with kits. So, um, that's part of the reason why this kit sold me. Because it comes with that little tiny walker thing. Um, and I want to get the, uh, mass production gun, thump, gun cannon to go with this guy. But yeah, really excited to get this. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a freaking gym sniper. Everybody loves it. Um, and the last Universal Century kit that I got is the high-grade full armor 7th Gundam, the FA-78-3. Um, I've been wanting this for years, and I've been putting it off and been putting it off. Like, every single Christmas, I almost put it in my cart, and I did it this year. I don't know why I did it this year, but I did it. Um, my friend Kai, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Kai Umno, uh, on Facebook, he did a really cool modification of this into the, uh, what is it called? I think it's just the RX-78-7, maybe? I'm not entirely sure on that, but it looks like a GFF, a uh, Gundam fixed figuration. I'm pretty sure he did it, uh, kind of like a, a thing with him and my other friend, uh, Miko, uh, to make it, and it's really cool, it's really awesome. Um... Yeah, but uh, really excited about this. I know it's from like a video game or something, but I uh, I love the design of it. Um, I really don't know the backstory. I'd love to know the backstory on it, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to paint it in the regular colors. I might do uh, a different kind of color scheme on it. I might do full armor Gundam, like the original green and orange and shit colors. Um, I don't know, maybe. Um, and the last but not least model is going to... I don't know why I got it. I just, I don't know. It is the 1 to 100 no grade infinite justice. <laughs> um, I grabbed it because I love the infinite justice Gundam. The master grade was sold out and the master grade is also like three times as much. Um, I mean, this is a 2600 yen kit. So it's like about as expensive as the gap plant. It's just a big high grade. Um, and I really do love the infinite justice Gundam a lot. And this kit, like, these 1 to 100 no-grades, in my opinion, they don't look like total shit when you put them together. You have to, like, paint them and care for them and fix seam lines and stuff. Oh, hi. Girlfriend just walked in. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to uh, build this for no apparent reason. I'm not really sure why I got this. Um, and I guess, you know, I should show off what I got my girlfriend for Christmas. <laughs> And thanks to Dave Allen over at, uh, I 
uh, with the new Google Plus thing, I think your YouTube is just Dave Allen, whatever. The Master Grade Epion, and she's having fun putting that together. So, um, yeah, this is her favorite Gundam, so, sorry. Second favorite Gundam, sorry. Sandrock is her favorite Gundam. She has Sandrock tattooed on her, I should know that. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot the things I got today. Uh, these are from my friend James Turner over on the Facebooks. And he sent me this little note and he picked me these up at Barnes & Noble. Because his Barnes & Noble is one of the ones that's doing the Gundam thing. Um, these are two little Converge. This is the Crossbone X1 and the Ground Type Gundam with the cannon just kind of holding it. And uh, he just kind of grabbed these for me for no apparent reason. Really cool. <laughs> I love them a lot, and uh, I love uh, I love the Converge, and I have the Crossbow X2, so really happy to have uh, both of these. And I might review them or something. I don't know, but I said I'd mention them in a video, so here they are. Very cool. Let's take a look at them. Crossbow X1 and Ground Gun. I'm very. These figures are amazing. If you haven't uh, haven't seen them yet, go check them out. Oh. Yeah, there was one other thing my girlfriend got me, and you cannot see it, but I'll be doing a video on it at some point. It is a hobby hanger base thing. It's one of those knockoff, like, hobby, the, the hanger base things that you can put, like, Gundams in and stuff, and, like, have their weapons on racks and stuff. And, uh, my Zaku that I just finished is up there as well. So, that's pretty much everything I got for Christmas. Um, oh yeah, and I got... Thundercracker, which not a lot of people will probably care about, but I do, because I love Transformers. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you to uh, my girlfriend, my mother, and James for grabbing me those, and I have a couple more things coming from a couple different people, um, and I'll be sure to uh, do videos and mention them when I, when I get around to it. So, that's about it, guys. Hope you all had a very good Christmas. Uh, tell me what you got below. Tell me, you know, blah, 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 and, uh, uh, that's about it. So I will see you all next time.